Hey guys, and welcome back to Dayman 1998. When we last left off, uh, we actually had a crash, which was kind of annoying, but uh, we've recovered from that now. Um, we've jiggled our junk around, and I'm pretty sure we've got to a somewhat comfortable level of equipment. Let's continue exploring the final areas of the game. And hopefully, nothing too bad is going to go horribly wrong. Evening! Step right up and allow me to administer your justice. One sweet, delicious round at a time. Uh, right. So you can see the equipment that I've chose to go with. Nothing too crazy. Just enough to get the do uh, job done for now. Okay, so I don't think there's a lot of areas we can really search or get our teeth into at the moment. Oh, there's another tape. Nope, that's a card. We needed that. So, subject statement report priority level one. Recipient, Internal Affairs Division, Hexcorp by Genetics. Hmm. This email was never sent. Do you want to edit it? Okay. <laughs> it was never sent? That's just really odd way to, to okay with extreme urgency I'm writing to report about the potentially harmful conduct of a high-ranking officer in Hexcore's special units the person in question revealed during a informal encounter that he planned to betray the company and hand over sensitive materials to a rival during uh, due to a personal reasons which also if extremely serious and understandable are not justifiable compared to the sphere consequences that would be a person very dear to him with extreme reluctance and sadness I therefore find myself today having to report that also if I am talking about professional person I respect a uh, respected colleague who loyally served this company for many years actually this is really badly written even if it's somebody that I have been close to for a very long time, I have a moral responsibility to report acts that pose potential threats to the company. Damn. This is interesting. Um, because, yeah, <laughs> if you've already played this game once before, that's a way more interesting email to read. Supervisor 27. Who is Supervisor 27? Mm. Well, I know. But uh, I'm not saying. Um, Truman Project Annual Report. Supervisor 27. Hmm. Supervisor 27. True. Ah, okay. For the attendance of the Government Bureau of Studies, Head of Research Department 4, Phase 4 of the Truman Project started life at the Hexcore Biogenetics Facility in Keen Sight, which has been proceeding as planned for over four decades. Thanks to the top-notch international uh, or internal R&D staff, as well as external parties, whom I represent in this email, charge to monitor the city's guinea pigs. The Keen Sight one is once again this year's most productive and reliable research facility by comparison to our counterparts in Something City and Somethingville. So there's at least two other facilities. Thanks to the uh, dedication of the Hexcore Biogenetics personnel, all threats have been completely eliminated, including a few pricks of conscience, as well as human error. I would like to emphasize that such error is extremely rare. So much so, in fact, that over decades of research, the only mishap that ever proved fatal and stirred the hornet's nest, undermining the, company's, uh, the company and government's involvement, was solved by blaming an unremarkable nurse who had to be sedated and scapegoated, which unfor uh, fortuitously led to the discovery of our most important study, the Dayman syndrome. Since then, there have been no further inconveniences worthy of note. I would like to remember it in each report. On behalf of all of our team, I would like to thank the Department 4 for your continued support attached to the pertinent research data, results obtained an annual financial statement. Thank you. Sarah Carmichael. Hmm. Interesting. Supervisor code 27. Okay. Sarah Carmichael, huh? 
Anyway, all right, Chief. Shouldn't be up and walking around. Not at this hour. <laughs> all right. Yeah, the Chief. Let's grab the Mentats and get the frick out of here. So, we've got ourselves an operator's... an operator's? Or a supervisor's uh, ID card, which we need to go and bank. So, let us do just that. To the treatment rooms. Definitely nothing weird gonna go down in the treatment rooms. Absolutely not. No sorry. <clears throat> All right, let's make sure we're loaded up and ready. Cool. So we've got our special card. Yeah, you can tell some of these guys are dead, I think, just because they've got blood on them. Oh my, what is going on here? That's a lot of something. Yes. This room. Okay. Well, you don't look dead or infected. It's blocked by some kind of defense protocol. Interesting. Well, hopefully that's not going to impact us too much. Let's grab that. Looks like we've got some more samples. Samples that apparently um, are luckily locked away. Okay. I guess we only have one real option. Yeah. Something bad happened down here. I don't think Santa Claus was taking some children out for a early Christmas treat. Looks like something a little bit more extreme than that. Yeah, what do I know, I guess. Oh, evening. Excuse me. Where did you come from? You cheeky little sausage. No, no, no. You can take the children out if you like. It's usually Santa's job. Just saying. Okay. Good enough. All right, let's get out of here. Obviously, something pretty horrendous happened here. We've got <laughs> a lot of ammo for the... Um, oh, you know, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we could have taken some Magnum ammo, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's all gravy. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, you! Damn! You should be in there! Hey, what the hell? Let me out now! Oh, no. I can't stop the system. The process is wrong! Look behind you! Oh, shit! Hang in there! Hang in there! It's going to take me a few minutes to unlock. I'll do my best to get you out, but you've got to hold that monster off. Can you hear me, Beacon? Hold that guy! I don't think I have a few seconds. Ah, we'll be fine. So, this gentleman here, do you recognize him? Yeah, kind of probably should. He is our old friend, Lev. Now, we can't kill Lev, but we can. Get him into a nice little position where he has to take a bit of a nap. Oh god, we've got to reload. Now don't worry about reloading your magazines. 
because uh, this is an area that has unlimited magazines full of ammo. Which is jolly useful, if I say so myself. Now again, as bosses go, he's kind of a joke. As long as you don't actually get hit by him. It's not really that much to worry about. He's just going to do his weird little elbow charge thing. And you just need to keep walking around. Now you know when you've done enough damage to him. Because he starts really slowly walking. Okay. And that's when you want to be a little... Oh dear. That was bad. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't click melee by accident. There we go. He's actually fairly durable, as you can see. And you want to make sure you avoid his acid. Because his acid spit will kill you surprisingly fast. But yeah, so Lev here. Lev is... Lev, well... We'll find out a bit more about his condition later on. Not actually that much later on. Now his weak spot is that weird lumpy mass on his side where he got his arm torn off. Uh, that was bad. Oof. Right, he's going to go down. So we're going to activate the system. And that is going to electrify him. We're going to grab a, as many free magazines as we can. Come on. That's going to piss him off, but that's okay. We don't mind that. Now, you only have to... I think you have to catch him twice, something like that. <laughs> He's going to do his weird little arm run thing, which cracks me the fuck up every single time. I can't help it. It's just so funny and silly. <laughs> it's a weird little arm rush. Oh, he's going to spit. He's going to spit. But that's okay. We're just going to keep doing this silly little dance. Twist round. Oh, hello. He's getting a little bit antsy. Okay. Now, you can use the explosives in the room to... Uh, okay, we're not picking up the magazines that we should be. You can use the explosives in the room to damage him further, but they're very unreliable. And when I say they're very unreliable, I mean like very, very unreliable. So we're just going to use like shotgun shells and stuff. But as long as you know what you're doing, it's a very basic easy boss. Nothing really to worry about. He does go on for a little bit though. Definitely not going to deny that. He goes on for quite a little bit. Doing his little twist. Right, this is... That's the most important thing. Avoiding his spit. And when he starts to slowly, slowly shuffle, that's when you... That's when you really need to... Um, be careful, because that means like the next couple of shots he's going to go down. Okay. But as long as you're careful, he's not really anything to worry about. Ooh, we got punched in the ass again. We probably cannot survive another punch in the ass. So bear that in mind. So wait for him to do his little... That's it, we want to wait for him to do that. Just give him a couple of shots every time we can. Nope. That's, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's the trouble, because as soon as your magazine empties, you click the fire button, what happens? You melee. When you melee, you die. Son of a bitch. I decided to go back and just, like, grab all of our mag ammo, just because, why not? It's 
probably the best part of the game to use it all. So, sure. It's all gravy, baby. Although I'm not sure why we stopped moving there. Bit questionable. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, he starts doing this raw thing. Which uh, stops us from moving. That's something to be careful of. But it's relatively rare. So, there's that. Now, your standard, like, running speed is generally fine. Let's go, Doc. You said a few minutes. We can use that to, like, damage him a little bit. But, oh shit, we've brought him down. That's actually really bad. Because now he's going to have all of his health back. I think... can't exactly remember how it all works. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't want none of that. None of that, please, sir. Right, just going to have to keep going around in circles. And just play this charade until he's had enough. Now, I don't know if he gets, like, all of his health back or how exactly it works, but we'll figure it out. Just got to stay away from his swinging arm. That's the main thing. But we only have to zap him twice, I think. Which is nowhere near as bad as it sounds. Oh dear. Like I say, you can use those explosive things that are set all around the room, but they're really dodgy to use. Because quite often, you'll kill yourself with them. And you might drop him down somewhere where you don't want to drop him down. Careful now. Careful now. Keep reloading. Keep putting those shells in that tube, boy. Yeah, man. Don't fuck up now. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, boy. Oh, he's getting slow. He's getting slow. That's what we want. That's what we want. Now, as long as he's somewhere in the middle here, it's fine. Because the game isn't there. He's going to drop pretty much any second now. There we go. We've done him. We should have done him. There we go. As soon, as long as we're close enough, he will just drop into that uh, cage in the middle there. And now he's going to be zapped. And we're going to heal. grab as many spare magazines as we can. As soon as he dies, you can no longer get access to spare magazines, which is worth noting. Uh, right. Let's get the AE magazine. Any other AE magazines? Right. So we're going to chuck any empty standard magazines because we just don't need them anymore. Unfortunately, um, a lot of the magazines that you drop, if you drop a lot of them anyway, they will start disappearing. Which is disappointing, you know. I know, we only have 16 gigs of VRAM and 32 gigs of system RAM. I know it's difficult. Um, right, let's drop you. Drop you. I mean, we don't even really, if I'm being 100% honest with you, you don't really need the Action Express. Um, let's reload our handgun. There we go. Ah, we did get the extra magazine. Cool. Sweet. Now, unfortunately, in pure video game logic, as soon as, uh, you know what? We just just one like extra magazine is plenty. It really is, to be fair. 
Let's load up our Desert Eagle. Um, yeah, in pure video game logic, uh, now the unlimited box of ammo is suddenly mysteriously empty. Now these things, are, you could probably save a lot of ammo by detonating them, but the trouble is, like 50-50% of the time that I have always done it, I've killed myself. Uh, we can't set it off again. Much disappointment, wow. Plenty of shotgun shells around. I don't believe, to be honest with you, that there's enough ammo in this room to actually take him out. Which is absolutely something to to bear in mind. He's actually, like, if you're not prepared, he's probably a really nasty boss. But, uh, you know, we're Titan Gaming. We're always prepared. Apart from when we're not. And then we have problems. But this particular instance, we were prepared. <sighs> we're certainly prepared with wine. Someone might say that we drank too much wine. <laughs> but I can assure you, those people are wrong. Maybe we haven't drunk enough wine. Well, it looks like the door's open now. Christ. I thought you were going to die in there. Thanks for your help, Mr... Mason. Dr. Mason, I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR 03s your unit was transporting last night spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Keemsight. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Prior to infection, the members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both physical and mental capabilities. But as a side effect, it seems to have generated some rather unusual varieties of form when combined with the toxin. Cut the bullshit. I put down some of those Haiti things already, and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. But he wasn't quite dead. The bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation, an anomaly. That's why the Big Shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. The two viral agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that thing out there is leave? Oh my god, where did it go? How the hell did it get loose? Stay here. Come on, Doctor. But there's no stopping it. Don't you understand? Get the hell out of here, boy. But you don't have to. Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! But... There isn't any other way! Go on! Get out of here! You're a good man, Doc. You're a good man. Maybe. Well, that was unfortunate. I have to reach the helipad immediately. You get an achievement if you search that dude as well. Settle down, sir. I've coughed up scarier things than you. Um, <laughs> I love the way they twist around like that. Uh, so, um, you know what? Let's just drop that mag. It's not important. Hmm. Uh, Right, let's... I suppose... Yeah, you know what? You know what? We're probably just better off now. Just switching over to the good stuff. Because we've got a little bit of a rough patch coming up. But it... Uh, it can be rough, but it's not too bad. We'll, uh, all, all things will be explained in due time. 
Alright, let's swap over the magazines. And you know what? We're just going to throw that five round magazine away. Or, actually, you know what? Let's just empty it out. And... My god, we have so much enhanced ammo now. Let's just use the enhanced stuff. Like I say, you know, it, it's, it's not much better than the standard stuff, but... I guess it is somehow better. Right. Now we have another... Um, oh, are we... Oh, we really are out of time, aren't we? Um, because, you know, we're kind of right almost at the end of the game. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave this one here, guys. And then when we come back, we will complete the game. Well, I'm trying to think how long is actually left. It might be a bit of a longer episode, but possibly we could possibly finish it in the next one so anyway guys thank you very much for watching guys and uh, as always till next time